customizing workspaces. This podcast is at the basic level. It requires no knowledge of Accordance Bible software, or Hebrew, or Greek. Accordance can make our study time more productive in a lot of ways. One of those is having custom workspaces. Imagine walking into your study and having everything you need laid out in perfect order. Now imagine if with a snap of your fingers, you could instantly rearrange everything to work on a different project. Accordance's workspaces give us just that kind of power. Accordance makes it easy to create customized workspaces of all kinds. There are six basic steps. Select a search text, add parallel panes, adjust the layout, tweak the text and tool displays, add additional tabs and zones, and last, save the workspace as a favorite. The first step in creating a custom workspace is to select the main search text. This should be the Bible or text we plan to study. If you're new to Accordance, you may remember being given an opportunity to select your favorite Bible or your favorite text in the Setup Assistant. If you skip that step, you can do so at any time. It's located under the Help menu. That said, if we want to choose a text that's different from our startup text, we just click this button and choose one from the drop-down menu. I should add here that I generally show the toolbar and instant details in my workspaces, both of which we can access under the window menu. This same menu can open the library, or we can use the library button on the toolbar. I generally leave my library closed until I need it. Others like having it open all the time. Now it's time to add some parallel panes. These are the resources we want to scroll with the main text. We do this with the Add Parallel button, which is located on the right side of the zone. We then choose our resources from this drop-down menu. The most important of these, especially for studying the Bible, is the Info pane. It displays commentaries, cross-references, parallel passages, topics, and, for you Greek and Hebrew users, apparatus. We can add even more panes, including other Bibles and commentaries. Now, if you're brand new to Accordance, and you'd like more information on how to use the info pane, see this podcast. We can also adjust the arrangement of the panes in several ways. The goal here is to arrange the panes to encourage a smooth, efficient workflow. Now, I'm happy to share with you the layout I prefer, but everyone works just a little bit differently. For example, our first option is to change orientation. If we prefer horizontal rows to vertical columns, for instance, we can click the Orientation button. Let's move back to those vertical columns now and talk about moving a single pane. Clicking the Settings button allows us to move the pane down and to create two rows. If we do that several times, we wind up with a layout that looks something like this. I often use this method to put my commentaries or apparatus on the bottom row. That position is actually Accordance's fault, by the way, though we can change it in our general preferences. Finally, we can click and drag the header of any pane and drop it in a different place. A gray line appears when we move it to any suitable area. Once our panes are arranged to our satisfaction, we can then tweak how Accordance displays our resources. That means setting our global preferences. Global preferences apply to all resources, and they remove all prior custom settings. What that means is that any text or tool we want to display differently will have to adjust after we set our global preferences. Those of you that watch this podcast regularly know that I use different font and background colors for my text than I do my reference tools. I generally don't customize the display of individual resources. If you'd like to duplicate the simplicity of my setup, then all you'll need is global preferences. All of Accordance's preferences are found under the Accordance menu on a Mac and the Edit menu on a PC. Here are the custom settings I use for my text and my tools. You're welcome to copy mine or use any of the themes available from the drop-down menu or simply create your own. 
The advanced prefs for text give us additional options, like whether we want to see red letters, superscripts, highlighting, and so on. After we've set our global preferences, we have the option to change our preferences for individual resources. Once again, this menu is found in the pane settings. The choices should look familiar, as they're the same as the global prefs we just saw. However, these changes will just apply to this specific text or tool. We also have the choice to make it the default for this resource, or to skip that step and just click OK. That will make the changes for just this one instance. Accordance allows us to expand our workspaces with additional tabs and zones. Here's an example of a workspace with two zones, each with multiple tabs. We can add either by opening the library and choosing a resource, or by clicking this plus button, and then choosing from the menu. What's the difference between tabs and zones? Both function identically with one important difference. Every zone is always visible, but we can only see a single tab in a zone at a time. Accordance does its best to add resources logically, working to keep like resources together. Opening a second text from the library, for example, will generally put it in a tab in the text zone, while the first tool we open from the library may open in its own zone. It's hard to be more specific, as everyone's preference settings vary, and they, of course, control Accordance's behavior. We can drag and drop a tab, just like we can move an individual pane. We can drop it into another zone by placing it among its tabs, or drag it somewhere else on the workspace to create a new zone. Likewise, entire zones can be dragged and dropped into a different area of the workspace. The possibilities are endless. When should we use tabs and when should we use zones? Everyone has their own preferences, but here are some guidelines. Use additional tabs to save space on small monitors, or for resources that are used separately. Examples, different texts and canons, or different kinds of resources like lexicons, dictionaries, commentaries, and so on. Use additional zones to take advantage of large monitors or for resources used simultaneously. Examples, well, having a Bible or a text plus an atlas or timeline open at the same time or having a Bible and a Bible dictionary so that we can see both of them simultaneously, or even just multiple different texts. Once we have the workspace set up just the way we like it, we can save it as a favorite. Saving workspaces makes study time more efficient. I find the easiest method to use is Add Workspace in the Toolbar's Workspace menu, since it will save the workspace and add it to the menu all in a single step. The older method, which still works fine, is Accordance's File menu. There we have options both to save the workspaces and to reopen them. My Workspaces in the library allows us to rename, rearrange, open, and even delete our favorite workspaces. As you can see here, I have favorite workspaces for different kinds of study and for special projects. Creating and saving custom workspaces in accordance makes our study time more productive. Switching between projects is easier. We can develop a consistent workflow, and having preset workspaces can save us a lot of time over the long haul. This has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp.